Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily replace your sliding screen door. Now originally my plan was this video is going to be how to re-screen a door, but the frame is bent and the wheels up here are also shot. So we're going to replace the whole thing. It's more cost effective that way. I will have a video soon on how to re-screen a door. So hit that subscribe button because that'll be popping out soon if you want to be notified when that comes out. But right now, let me show you how to replace it. My apologies for the water sound in the background of the video. That's my koi pond. I can't exactly turn that off. But over here, I have a replacement door. Now, most replacement doors you're going to get, and it's going to have a range of what size door can fit. So this one we measured, ours is 48 inches wide, and the height is just a little over 76, so this one will be perfect. I picked this one up at my local big box hardware store. It costs about 100 bucks. Now, depending on how your door is set up, you may be able to just lift it right off the track and pull it out. In my case, you can't, so we're going to have to loosen up some wheels, and for that, we're gonna use a screwdriver. So inside the side of the door here, there's this little plastic piece and above that there's wheels and there's screws in there. So we're gonna unscrew this part so we can drop it and lift the door out. Now with our door removed, we can unpackage our new door. So on these doors, the bottom and the tops are adjustable. And since our door height is about 76 inches, we're gonna adjust these all the way down before we try to install it. There's also this piece of weather stripping. We're gonna remove this and install it at the end. This will need to be cut to fit. And now the entire door will slip into place. So you wanna start with the top first and get the track up inside there and then work your way to the bottom lifting the wheels onto the track they're gonna ride on. So you can see here the wheels are riding on that track and now you can take your screwdriver and loosen up this screw and lower this down to the point where it contacts the bottom and the top and at that point it should roll freely. Now the last step here is the latch. Now if you're living right, your old latch will work. In my case, it kind of does and it kind of doesn't. So we're actually gonna replace it with the new one. So we're gonna take the old one out. Now you do wanna make sure everything lines up. There's a little striker piece in here and a little latch like this. Some of these doors will actually come with a template so that'll help you line it up. In my case, the holes are actually gonna line up pretty much perfectly. So we're just gonna reuse the same holes. Next, we're gonna measure our piece of weather stripping and cut it to fit. The weather stripping then snaps in place and you wanna make sure that when you're snapping it in place, the weather stripping is facing the glass of your door. And you're all done. It really is that easy. A quick job you can do with a screwdriver and a saw. So if this video helped you out, please go down below and hit that subscribe button for lots more stuff just like this. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're working on around the house. Maybe I'll make a video just for you. Give me a great big thumbs up. And of course, thanks for watching.